Namaste, Dosto. Hey, there you are. <laughs> Hi. Manu's here. She's finally traveling with me. We are in a very famous city in the state of Maharashtra. This city is famous for Taj Mahal-like architecture, for lush forts, for Mughlai cuisine. And also, it's the only district in India to have not one, but two World Heritage Sites. And you are going to see one of those in this video today. There's a lot of hype around the city of Aurangabad in Maharashtra. So let's see if it lives up to it, babe. And uh, let's see, should you visit Aurangabad? Now, this place could be another World Heritage Site, couldn't it, babe? Yeah. Take a look at this. Amazing, perfect weather. And look at all those hills around it. Yeah, it's really stunning. This is Bibi Ka Makbara. This is the tomb of Aurangzeb, his wife. And you might notice it looks kind of like the Taj Mahal, no? Tell For us a little his, bit about him. For his wife, he was a Mughal king. He was Shah Jahan's son. Shah Jahan was the one who built Taj Mahal. Uh, yeah, so this is directly linked to the Taj Mahal. Not just in look, but also in family. It's not maintained well, though. It Can is you not see? maintained well, yes. See, look, that's all black. Broken and black. Oh, the, yeah, some of the bricks are broken on that front part there. I read about this in the reviews actually. People were complaining on Google Maps that it hasn't been well maintained because this is stunning. It's not, it doesn't, I mean, it just, to me, it doesn't look so much smaller than the Taj Mahal. A little smaller, but it's still quite big and quite impressive, no? Yeah. Let's go up now and have a look. How's the weather today, Manu? Perfecto. Hey, no? I'm loving the weather. Look at this. You missed yeah. it. Yeah, look at these people writing their stupid names on this monument. Oh, that's, it's no, disgusting. I meant this. You know why they have gardens and all in the tomb? No, tell. This is the idea of paradise in Islam. Oh, really? Yeah, after you die, paradise is, it has fountains, it has gardens, and it has water streams. Really? And that's why you see all three things in a, a tomb complex. Well, the water's not working here. Yeah, I can actually, I can totally see that, how this could be imagined as a paradise, no? Yeah. Because it is stunningly beautiful. But I do like one thing better than Taj Mahal here, which is the hills that it's surrounded by. Hi. Or Aurangzeb chose a great location. Oh, they are doing some work on it, babe. See this? Oh, finally. So perhaps they are going to restore it a bit. Thank God. <laughs> Before it all comes down. Yeah. Now you can see that they have renovated this part and how much better it's looking. It's looking far more beautiful. So yeah, work is being done, thankfully. So this is the entry to the tomb and the main entry is here, but also there's stairs going down to a downstairs entry and you're gonna see when we walk inside now. Now when you enter, the tomb's down. So you're looking down on the tomb. And people have just thrown money all over it. We're just driving to the next spot now, but just see how lush this place is in Maharashtra. There's hills everywhere. On top of all the hills, there's temples. And it's just a beautiful place, no? Don't you find this place really beautiful? Yes, I think monsoon makes a difference too. Yeah, being here in the rainy season, well worth it, you know? Look at that, that's where we are going. Nice, nice. Manu, where are we? Dalatabad Fort now. Ah, Dalatabad Fort. Look at this. You got the cannons, and we're entering this massive fort. It goes quite high up, and it's very majestic. Hey, look at these spikes on the gate here. What were they for? So, in case the 
enemy the enemy used to use uh, intoxicated elephants to break the gates open what yeah poor elephants and these spikes hurt them they injured them so like to protect the fort they must have been sharper in the days yeah cuz they're not sharp anymore that one is sharp see this one here this one's still sharp uh, it's a massive gate though and look at these carvings up here They were just shouting, going to tell you teasing, something. Shouting, teasing, clicking. No shouting. Babe, You're the one. No, no you don't teasing. tease me. You don't tease me. Clicking of any photos of any individual without yeah. consent. That you, has happened uh, already you. with me ten that's times. That's you. Yeah, take your take. Yeah, you're <laughs> taking photos of hot guys. No, the opposite. What? Guys <laughs> have taken photos of me outside, thinking I'm a foreigner. <laughs> People are taking photos of us all day long anyway, because we're foreigners. So, just know the rules, babe. Yeah. No whistling at dudes either. <laughs> How about if the dude is my husband? Yeah, yeah, go whistle at me. It's fine. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Damn, damn, epic. And it just keeps going, going up, and we are just walking down this epic pathway. I don't know what these are for. And this pathway is leading up to. Can you see it? There's a huge. There's a huge fort. It starts at the bottom here, and it goes up to that that mountain there. This scale of this place is crazy, and. Uh, I think it's I think the scale is grand for a big reason. This at one time only for a brief period, like a few years, was the capital of the Delhi Sultanate, no? Yeah. So this was a very important place. It got moved back to Delhi. But uh I think it shows just how epic this place is. It's one of the cooler forts that I've seen because of the uh greenery. Yeah. Because of how green it is, babe. Like more than a fort, I get the feeling that we're in an ancient city. This is bigger than a normal fort, right? Oh yeah, it is a masjid. Wow. There's just nobody here. It's so quiet. Look at this, guys. Wow, incredible. Oh, it's a temple. Yeah, I can see it. it's a Hindu garden there now. Let's go see. From the layout, I thought it was a mosque, but inside we have not a mosque. Namaste ji. Namaste. Kaise aap? Theek hai sir. Wow. Bahut sundar na. Chalo le aap la la. This is the moat, right babe? Yes. And I've heard they used to keep crocodiles here. Really? Yeah. Crocodiles. Why would they put crocodiles in the moat? So if someone tried to get into the fort through by swimming or climbing these walls, he would be eaten by them. Wow. But now they keep junk, <laughs> plastic bottles, so no one would dare to jump into them. Yeah. You can see how it's been like carved out of the rock face, na? No? Come this way. You can see how it's been carved out of the rock face now, the moat. Yeah, yeah. See how that rock face goes straight down. Wow. We're inside the fort now. Whoa, nearly there's a big hole. This is like carved out of the rock, right? I mean, yeah, it is. Oh, 
passages everywhere here. See this passageways to let the light in? That's crazy, man. It's so cool. <laughs> Anna? Jello, let's keep going up. <laughs> We're inside the cave now. We can't see anything. Wow, we made it. Whew. Hey, hey, hey. We have, babe, only made it halfway <laughs> up. It's still an incredible view halfway up, but we're not going to get to the top. Uh, yeah, we're tired. <laughs> we need some food. So, babe, I think let's go back down. Yeah. And let's get our butts to try some Mughlai cuisine. Huh? Yeah. This one very famous dish here. Yeah. I'm just blown away. <laughs> if you want to come up here, you're going to need two to three hours and probably an hour to get up. And it, it's quite steep, if you see. And a meal quite before steep. that. Yeah, and eat before. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and bring a drink with you. And uh, yeah, go all the way, OK? <laughs> We are in the old city now, babe. And here we have just a normal road, man. We've got some Rajasthani lassi there. We've got a gents parlor. We've got Bismillah Pan, Salim Milk Center. We're gonna eat in here. This is Sagar. We're gonna try a very famous dish here. Naan Kalia, huh? Kalia. Yum. Hey, Boracha. Thank you, Chief. Look at this, guys. We got a feast, Manu. What do you think straight away? Lucky soldiers. <laughs> yeah, lucky soldiers because this Nan Kalia, as it's called, this is what royal soldiers used to eat in Aurangzeb's time. Now, see, the Nan is special. You can see it's, it's made of wheat, actually. This is not normal Nan made with white flour. It's actually kind of brown wheat flour and it's covered in turmeric. The guy smacks his hand over it with turmeric and then cooks it. It's very soft, very, very soft and very thick, much thicker than a normal naan. And then we have kalia and it's soldier's food because it was quick and easy to prepare and tasty. They can make this in big batches. And oh my gosh, so it's brown, covered in oil and tons of mutton in there. So there's a bowl, you can put your nankalia in it. There's bones, of course. Oh, it looks great. Mm, you can't wait to taste this, babe. Try the naan. I just love wheat. I love anything brown, you know, brown bread. There's a lot of spice there. And I think they've mashed in dal in there as well. So it's quite a thick gravy. And it's a super spicy. There's tons of coriander in there. I can see curry leaves as well. Wherever you are, go find some naan kalia and just try it, please. We're gonna go to Elora Caves next, but first we're gonna go have a nap. <laughs> we just stuffed ourselves. After that big meal. Ah, and then we're gonna go to a World Heritage Site here in India. We're inside a World Heritage Site now and there's already a guy following us trying to sell us these crystals. And we just heard him talk to his other friends saying, Oh, foreigners are nearby, they're mine. These are my foreigners. Coachella, let's keep going. I can't believe they're here inside this World Heritage Site. And this is the Alora Caves. And I'm about to show you something very, very incredible. There are 34 caves here. But just wait until I flick this camera around, okay? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Let me show you where we are. Wow. <laughs> Amazing, no? Wow. You gotta see this to believe it, guys. This is just out of this world. Hey, bro, how are you? Good, man, just making a video. Wow. These are ancient caves from ancient India and these are obviously built without technology right these got dug out of this 
side of this cliff here and the scale is just like mind-blowing. Isn't this just mind-blowing? Yes, the best part is they are all dug out of a big single rock. Yeah. This to me is more amazing than the Taj Mahal. I, I gotta say that, this is just awesome. And like, look at the intricacies of the carving. And these are episodes from the Mahabharata. This is just unbelievable. We could climb up there as well. Manu, we found the Mahabharata around this corner. Now we've found a Buddha here. Just tell us what does this all symbolize? Because we're seeing like multiple religions together. Because there's yes. Jain, uh, there's Jain as well here mentioned in the temples. Symbolizes religious tolerance. How the same place has cultures from three different religions: Jainism, Buddhism, and Hinduism. Uh -huh. Coexistence. Let's go upstairs and have a look. Eh? Careful now. Just put off your shoes at your own risk. You don't have to take a shoe off. They're not, we're wearing shoes, Charlie. You can travel all up and down the caves and the monuments and the temples here. Man. It's just incredible, this place. Just can't imagine how it was made. Now that place, the Kailash temple, took 200 years to construct. Like, I, I'm just blown away here, Manu, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I believe it, it must have taken. It's a big task to carve out I, everything from this big rock. I can't believe that. So, if I sum it up, Oranga, New Zealand, G, New Zealand. New Zealand. Hanji. Oh, thank you. Up say? I am Tamil Nadu. Oh, Tamil Nadu say. Oh, very good. Sorry, you, I should speak in English then. <laughs> we have 50 members coming from Coimbatore. Oh, really? Have you been to Mahavalipuram? Mahavalipuram uh, already seen. Very good. All right. Hi. 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 How are you? I'm very good. good. Very good, guys. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. See you later. Can yeah, of course. Go for it. That's my dudes. You guys from Tamil Nadu, Hena? No, uh, from Karnataka. Oh, Karnataka. Ha, huh. photo Leila, photo Leila. Oh, you know English, Hindi? Yeah. You can speak Hindi? Yes, I can speak Hindi. Ah, I don't know. Tea? 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 Thank you. With madam? With me too. Yep, with madam. Like in my Indian room. Oh, I'm Indian <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Oh, man, those kids were too cute. Anyway, I was going to sum up the video with, uh, should you visit Aurangabad and the Ellora and Ajanta Caves, which are nearby as well? It's a hell yes from me foreigners, get your butts here. I've enjoyed this area more than Agra, and that's, that's an honest opinion from me.